Today we're going to make a chicken chili riano bake. We're going to do it in a 12 inch camp oven over the charcoals. Uh, the ingredients you need for this recipe are 10 eggs, a half a cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a stick of melted butter, one and a half cups of shredded cheese, two cups of cottage cheese, two cans of Ortega chilies, and when I use the Ortegas, I usually will dice one can and add it to the egg mixture and then slice one can into uh, halves and make a layer over the egg mixture. And then I'm also going to add a whole cooked chicken uh, pulled from the bone. You can add whatever kind of meat you like as long as it's pre-cooked um, or no meat at all, whatever you like and for me this time instead of the Ortegas I'm going to use some poblanos that I froze from my garden this year and let's get started well we have most of the ingredients here we have the eggs and the diced chilies the flour the salt the baking powder the halved chilies the cheese and the butter still melting the first thing you have to do is uh, beat the eggs for about two minutes. If you have a mixer that's great. I'm going to use a wire whisk and beat it for two minutes and then I'll be back. Well I whipped the eggs for about two minutes. You can see they're foamy. That means there's been lots of air added to them. So at this point what we do is add the salt, the baking powder, and the flour. Then we mix it again. If you have a, a beater or a mixer, mix it on low for about another minute. And I'll go ahead and mix it with a whisk for another minute. Here's the chicken I cooked with the sous vide method. And then I grilled it up afterwards. What I'm going to do is clean off all the meat and I'm going to use this in our chicken chileriano bake. As you can see the chicken is still very tender and moist, tasty. So we'll just get this all cleaned up, get it into bite-sized chunks and then we'll add it to our chili riano mix. Now we've stirred in the flour and the salt and the baking powder. You can see it's still foamy. At this point I've switched to a wooden spoon because you don't want to get rid of all the air that you've already that you've spent all that time putting in so the rest of it will be folding stuff in. Right now I'm adding the melted butter. I'll stir that in there. Then I'll add the cottage cheese. About a half a cup of the shredded cheese. And as you know, we love cheese here. So cheese is basically to taste. And we'll add the diced chilies. We'll fold those in. So I'll finish stirring this up and then I'll be back. Now that's all mixed in. So what I'll do now is add the chicken. And we'll fold that in. Yummy. All right. So I've greased my 12 inch Dutch oven. And what I'm going to do now is pour half of the egg mixture in the bottom of the Dutch oven, camp oven. Maybe a little more. And 
and then I will take the chilies that I cut into pieces and layer those in here. And spread them out there. do a little bit of a layer and we're going to sprinkle some cheese on top of that and pour the rest of the egg mixture mixture on spread that around over the top Some more cheese on there. And then we'll put the lid on, take it out, and put the coals on top and underneath and get it cooking. Well, we have 12 or 14 coals arranged there. Put the Dutch the camp oven on top. And we'll add as many of these coals as we can get on here. And we'll get some more going. This recipe takes about 45 minutes. We want to make sure we don't run out of coals. Twenty or so coals on there. I'll get some more going. We'll come back every 15 minutes or so and turn the lid a quarter of a turn and the camp oven a quarter of a turn and then we'll check it in about 45 minutes. It's been 15 minutes so we're going to turn and turn. Quarter of a turn on the lid. Quarter of a turn on the pot. And then we'll let it go for another 15. It's been another 15 minutes, so we're going to turn the lid a quarter. And the oven a quarter. And I'm going to put some more coals on the top because I want the cheese all brown and bubbly. So I'm going to add some more coals to the top. Look at underneath too. Yeah, I think we can use a few more under there too. Put them somewhat in a checkerboard again. Back over. A few more to the top. All right, we'll get another 15 minutes and see how it does. It's been 45 minutes now. It smells good. I want to open it up and see what it looks like. Mmm, look at that. Brown and bubbly. Gotta love it. 
think we'll just take that right inside and eat it up. There it is. Our chili Riano bake. Looks very yummy. I think I'll go enjoy it now. <laughs>